mana part of the game for them. So if they manage mana well, they can do more DPS, and they have to decide how high can they stack Arcane Blast before they have to do that. So I would say players who are really intolerant of having to watch mana, Arcane, not a good spec for them. No, they should be. So mana's part of the game, and they just have yeah. to learn how to play with the it. The Frost and Fire they shouldn't have as many mana problems. Okay. I, um, I'd love to go to a dinner between the two of you. <laughs> just hear you guys go on out your world of Warcraft first. How are we doing on the questions here, Kat? Um, we're good. Let me ask a couple more. How are we doing on time? I think we're, we're ready. Are we okay? We love it. The Inquisition of uh, <laughs> Greg Street right here, live on Direct That's why I'm here. Um, okay, here's one. We recently you changed the way badges work, um, and you have justice points. Uh -huh. That's what we're spending now. And so when I saw that, I thought in my head, oh, that's so much easier. I'm so tired of collecting badges. Yes. And then I read, well, there's valor points in Cataclysm. Is that not just the same problem in a different form? The the big change this time is there will only ever be justice and valor. Okay. And when a new tier of content comes out, all the old stuff that was valor now is justice instead. So it's kind of like. We could have done the same thing with Lich King if we had just kept recycling the old names over and over rather than having to have so many stack up. It got really lame at the end when you're like, down converting your Frost to Triumph to Conquest. And yeah, that was a mistake. That was a pain in the back. Yeah, but sorry. That's okay, no problem. Um, 30 point, 31 point trees. Uh-huh. Um, what is your, there were, you know, obviously probably a very small percentage of players, but some players did do, you know, balance specs. Yeah. What was your thinking in forcing that 31 points into a single tree? It was, um, Players who who claim to like the hybrid specs, often what they were doing is like going down and cherry picking the you know the, the broken talent in this tree and the broken talent in this tree that makes right. their class broken. And that particularly could be a problem in PvP. There were a few legitimate cases of the guy that like I really like to DPS, but I like to heal a little bit on the side, and we tried to make sure there were still hooks to do that, but they just involve you know kind of finishing one tree and then dabbling a little bit in another one to get there rather than legitimately going down both trees. Often players kind of consider it a failure if they don't want to the they don't want to get the talents in the bottom of their tree. Right. So that's just kind of the new design. That'll be interesting to see when we bump the level cap again. That'll allow players to go even deeper into the second trees. So. Do you think that mastery is going to be necessary in order to get the most out of your class, or will you be able to ignore it? If we do our job right, mastery will be exactly even with, say, haste and crit. Um, and then players, ideally, they want a little bit of both. It's, it's kind of broken if, like, oh, I want all haste and nothing else. But um, we hope that players don't ignore mastery. I mean, you know, we want it to be an exciting stat. And you're going to be, you gem for mastery as well, uh -huh. right? Yeah, I can gem for it. Okay, are they selling those gems now? In the, did, 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 did mastery gems release in the patch? I'm going to mess up here. I don't think so. I think the only way to get mastery in the patch is to reforge. It's to reforge. Yeah, and then at higher level, they're actually mastery gems. Okay. They have cool names like Zen and stuff like that, all kind of inner focus stuff. Very cool. Oh, speaking of speaking of skills, one quick question is: we, We've obviously have changed the way that uh, glyphs work. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you're killing the inscription skill as a money maker? Well, on the one hand, um, scribes will. We think there'll be a bigger market for some of the glyphs that weren't as popular before. Before players could pick and choose and ignore right. the rest of their glyphs, and now I think a lot of them are just going to want to fill out. You know, anytime you give players a like blank to fill it in, they want to fill it in. So that'll help. And. It's not healthy for Inscription to make all of their money off of Glyphs if we're tying you know, the success of that trade skill that much to the Glyph market. We're trying to give them other things they can do. There's some fun, um, you know, the, the fortune cookies we've added for the level 85 content, um, and some Dark Moon Fair cards, things like that. We want to prop up Inscription a little bit more and not have it so based on Glyphs. Okay. Um, in archaeology, correct? Yeah. Okay, that, I always get that word wrong. In archaeology, uh, it sounds to me like end game outside of being able to collect pets and mounts is going to be raid buffs, correct? That Sorry? You, that, that in archaeology, one of the benefits mm -hmm. is you'll be able to get raid beneficial buffs? There are. So the way it works is it's only right now in the five-man dungeons. Mm -hmm. um, you, If you're an archaeologist, you can get a special buff that helps you for that dungeon. We haven't applied it to raids yet. If we kind of like the way it works, we might do it for raids in the future. It's kind of cool right now because it's themed to the to the dungeon, it kind of feels like it fits in the lore rather than just being a, you step in and get a buff, but okay. if it's not too much of a hassle, we'll, we'll do more with that. Okay, um, let me get one more before we have to let Fight you against go. Let's see. Oh, here's a good one. How do you explain um, this Rainer's... This from uh, Valiance, and he asked, what is the direction of Sylvana's Windrunner in Cataclysm? She looks like she's becoming more controversial, and is that the aim of Blizzard? Well, Sylvanas has a couple interesting things happening to her. One is, um, the horde is the, the particular orc side of the horde is kind of having some internal power struggles of their own, which has let her off the leash a little bit. Um, Sylvanas has a big problem, which is she is the queen of people that cannot procreate their normal means, mm -hmm. and so in order to try to um, get more forsaken for her armies, um, she has resorted to using the Valkyr from Northrend because they can create 
create more undead for her army. So um, it's be interesting to see where she goes. Or taking the Forsaken a little bit of a darker direction they've been before. It's gonna be gonna yeah. be fun. No, I can't wait. I can't wait. All right. I think the Inquisition is over. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you very much, oh, uh, I love Greg. It. You made it through the ringer there with Cat <laughs> Hunter. And now we're going to head on out to the floor because JoJo Chen is with someone new. JoJo, where are you at right now?